So hello everyone, welcome to Univoyage. This is Rushal Shekhar, and today we're going to do part two of trigonometric ratios. We've already covered part one, and today we're going to solve some more problems based on it and some more additional formulae. So now we're going to start with the second part, and just make sure that you've already seen the first part before you begin uh, watching this video. Let's go ahead. The first question says that. 2 sin x upon 1 plus cos x plus sin x is equal to t. If this is the case, um, 1 minus cos x plus sin x upon 1 plus sin x can be written as, and there are four options. So we'll have to uh, solve such questions by algebraic manipulation. So what we'll do is that we'll rationalize this denominator, all right? So if you have anything else in mind, you can just, um, Pause the video and you can go ahead with it and see if it matches any of the options. Okay, so we're gonna solve it by rationalizing. So let's write 2 sin x upon 1 plus cos x plus sin x is equal to t. So now after rationalizing it. What we get is 2 sin x upon 1 plus cos x plus sin x, the whole term, into 1 plus sin x minus cos x upon 1 plus sin x minus cos x. You know I have taken this after we solve the whole sum. So again, this will give us 2 sin x into 1 plus sin x minus cos x divided by 1 plus sin x the whole square minus or square x. Now we can expand on this, right? So let's say it as 2 sin x. You know that this is equal to t, right? The expression is equal to t. So 2 sin x into 1 plus sin x minus cos x divide by 1 plus sine square x plus 2 sine x minus cos square x. So can you remember any formula from 1 minus cos square x? Um, so basically 1 minus cos square x is equal to sine square x. So let's substitute that value in here. This is obviously equal to t. 2 sin x upon 1 plus sin x minus cos x divided by 2 sin square x because we already have a sin square x plus 2 sin x is equal to t. So we can take the 2 sin x common the denominator and let's see what we left with two sin x into sin x plus one now if you can observe we can cancel this and If you can see this expression right here, it matches what we what we being asked, right? So one minus cos x plus sine x upon one plus sine x can be written as t, which is our answer option B. So we'll tick t and move on to the next question. Again, I would not advise you to do these questions in the first go. 
when you're in the examination hall, go through the easy questions and then come back for uh, questions which will take you more than a minute. All right. So these are some formulae which you need to know when you're doing the sums which you're going to encounter ahead. All right. So just make sure you make a note of all these. These are really important when it comes to exams like DUJAT and IPMAT because they can ask you questions which involve your knowledge of uh, trigonometric ratios and um, their identities. Question two says that find the exact value of sine 75 plus uh, sine 15. So, so if you've noticed here, there's a formula saying sine C plus sine D, which we're going to use here. Let's go ahead. So sine C plus sine D is equal to two sine C plus D by two cos C minus D by two. All right. This can be written as 2 sine 75 plus 15 by 2 into cos 75 minus 15 by 2. This gives you 2 sine 90 by 2 which is 45 degrees into cos 60 by 2 which is 30 degrees. Now, if you know the value of sine 45 is 1 by root 2 and the value of cos 30 is root 3 by 2. And if you cancel these terms out, you'll get a value of root 3 by 2, which is the answer. So let's go ahead. Question 3 says that cos 2 pi by 7 plus cos 4 pi by 7 plus cos 6 pi by 7 is equal to. So how can we do this? So you can just pause the video and have a crack at it. So how I'm going to go about is I'm going to apply the cos A sin B property is here. So what we can write this question as let's first copy these terms down cos pi by 7 plus cos 4 pi by 7 plus cos 6 pi by 7. So what I'll be doing is that I'll be multiplying this whole term by 2 sine pi by 7 and I'll be dividing it by the same term. So ultimately it's just 1. Right? Now what I'll do is that I'll take the, the uh, sine uh, pi by 7 in the numerator inside brackets. So what I get is 2 sine pi by 7 into cos 2 pi by 7 plus 2 sine pi by 7 into cos 4 pi by 7 plus 2 sine pi by 7 into cos 6 pi by 7. Here we are going to use the uh, property of 2 uh, cos A sine B. You need to note that your A is greater than B. All right. So let's write this as 1 by 2 sine pi by 7 into sine 3 pi by 7 minus sine pi by 7, this for the first term, plus sine 5 pi by 7 minus sine 3 pi by 7 plus sine 7 pi by 7 which is uh, basically sine pi minus sine 5 pi by 7. 
clearly see that sine three by seven gets cancelled by this term. Sine pi pi by seven by this term. So we can take this to the next line. One by two sine pi by seven into plus this term, right? Plus sine pi. But we know that the value of sine pi here is zero. So ultimately, you will be left only with this term. And this eventually gets cancelled with sine pi by seven to give you a value of minus one by two. So these sums can be solved by intuition, and uh, this is one of the very tough sums which you will get in uh, trigonometric ratios. All right, let's go to the next question. So you are given cos pi by nine into cos two pi by nine into cos three pi by nine into cos four pi by nine is equal to k. So you have to find the value of k. What we do is that we create the alternate sequence of sine here into sine two pi by nine into sine three pi by nine and into sine four pi by Nine is equal to s. Let's say, and what we'll do is that we'll multiply k by s. What we we'll get is a nice sequence here of sine pi by nine into cos pi by nine. Similarly, sine two pi by nine, cos two pi by nine. Cos three pi by nine can write in any order. Sine three pi by nine into cos four pi by nine into sine four pi by nine is equal to k of s. All right. Now we know that um, two sine a cos a is equal to sine of 2a. This formula we are aware of, so we'll replace all these values using this formula. So by this formula, we can take half to the other side and write half. This one can be written as half sine 2 pi by 9. Next one can be written as half sine uh, 4 pi by 9. Next term as half sine six pi by nine. And last term as sine eight by nine, right? Is equal to k of s. So I take all these twos on under one uh, term here. So it will be one upon two raised to four. I write sine two by nine as it is. Similarly, sine four pi by nine. I can write sine six pi by nine as sine uh, three pi by nine, right? That is possible because sine six pi by nine is equal to sine of pi minus six pi by nine, which is equal to sine three pi by nine. Similarly, I can write sine eight pi by nine as sine pi minus um, eight pi by nine, which is equal to Sine of pi by nine. This is uh, this was done in the last class. All right, so just make sure you go through that. And here we can clearly see that this term and the s term is same, so this gets cancelled. So the value of k is equal to one upon two raised to four. Also, for such question, there's a trick. So the shortcut is that the answer is one by two raised to n, and your n denotes the number of uh, cos angles in the question which are being multiplied. All right, so if you have such a question and you see three cos numbers being multiplied, it, the answer will be one upon two raised to three, which is one by eight. So you can make a note of this. So I've included these two questions uh, so that you can send your concepts. I'll give you the answer but you need to tell me why.
okay i'll give you a clue here first of all i'll just tell you the answer so is sine 1 greater than um sine 1 degree so here by sine 1 i mean sine 1 radian and cos 1 radian here too so the answer to this is yes and the answer to this is no so i'll give you a hint here we know that pi radians is equal to 180 degrees right so one radian will be equal to 180 degrees upon pi is equal to 180 upon 22 into 7 which is approximately 54 degrees so just ponder upon this question and let me know in the comment section why is sine 1 radian more than sine 1 degree and why is cos 1 radian less than cos 1 degree so thank you everyone hope you enjoyed the session please make sure that you join the telegram group so that we can keep you updated on the latest developments in entrance examinations and post various sheets for your reference thank you please keep watching univoyage and like share and subscribe to this video